Shane, we're driving Saab's 9.5 today, the first Irish driver of the car. What are your first impressions? I like it. Before you go anywhere, it's one of the most distinctive cars in the class. Um, very unusual styling and very striking. And it actually looks very big. It looks bigger than the likes of 3 Series, for instance. It's a generously proportioned car as well. It seems especially generous in the rear legroom as well. It's, this is a, a big luxury barge, I think, is it? You have to wonder. It certainly feels that way on the road, actually. It's less dynamic than some of the more compact executives, again, like the 3 Series and Audi A4. Um, so maybe, that, maybe that's what Saber is aiming for. It was very evident in the news Saab were in trouble just before the launch of this car. Do you think this is a, a genuine new Saab or is it a bit of a hangover from the old GM regime? Yeah, I think it's a bit of an interim car for sure. Uh, GM and Saab were working on this car for a few years and it was in development before Spyker came along and took over. Um, Spyker weren't about to start again. So I think we'll see uh, very different Saabs in the future and this, this is something that's uh, halfway to that. We've seen something of a price war going on between the likes of BMW and Mercedes-Benz with their 520 diesel and E-Class. This car is going to be a tough sell, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It'll, it'll depend on the price. Pricing is key to the success of this car in Ireland, uh, especially as Saab hasn't have, had a really competitive car in the segment for uh, some time. So the pricing will be all important.